Hello, welcome to the um, slightly different artwork lessons. I am very inspired by an artist called Paul Klee. Paul Klee, born in Switzerland, and one of the, I think, fun things he did was to work with the alphabet within his art. He was inspired by poetry uh, during the First World War and one of the works that he created, um, I thought we could actually base our work, our own work, uh, onto his work. Right, I better take my notes because I'm just sort of making it up as I go along. Um, so, I have got a pencil, a ruler and a sheet of paper. And what we are going to do is create a grid. Don't worry about measuring, we are just going to use the width of the actual ruler much easier to create a series of squares just like that so just using the width of the ruler so no accurate measuring required paul claire was inspired by his poetry and i'm just going to be inspired by any anything really. I'm just going to be inspired by the coronavirus and by Aardvark. So Aardvark um, is obviously closed as in the building but we are still hoping to continue uh, with making some lovely art pieces. So the words I have used within my art is Aardvark during Corona is still fun. So we have those squares. So I have drawn out um, a slightly larger square here to just demonstrate what the idea is. So if we have a letter, any letter, the idea is to fill the square with your letter. So if this is an A, so we have made it in such a way so that all the, out, the, the end parts of the lines are touching the square. Um, so if there was a B, I'm just going to do it on top because I can and I want to save play, uh, paper. This would then become maybe a, a rather peculiar B like so. I'm using a pencil so you could use a charcoal stick, you could use anything you like as long as it creates a fun and obvious outline. So Paul Clay he wrote poetry, but for every word that we are going to use, we are going to leave a space. So I have got here, Aardvark, whoops, Aardvark, couldn't finish it all on to one line, doesn't matter. I just continue on the next one, leave a gap, during, gap, Corona, gap and so on and I'm just going to write the last word which is fun and it is fun there we are so the whole idea is whilst we are using letters which we all hopefully recognize we are at the same time creating different spaces in between and therefore this is becoming a far more abstract way of working so in itself we realize that this is a letter a, a letter l a u an f and so on but when we place all these things together we are actually creating a new a new word a new you know piece of you know a piece of art that you know is becoming far and far more abstract 
and I really can't get my words out. So once we have created this, and you can obviously do this with your name, you can do this um, using maybe your own poetry, because uh, I know some of you do enjoy writing poems. Um, you could perhaps think of a song, um, anything. It could be anything, doesn't matter what it is. Anything you be inspired by. And I'm using some watercolours, yet again, you don't need to use watercolours. And I'm using some lovely vibrant colours um, I feel I'm going to be inspired by. And so I'm starting with this lovely Naples yellow. This is no ordinary yellow, this is a Naples yellow. And I am just going to fill spaces with this yellow here and there. So I know that the yellow is appearing everywhere, but within balance <clears throat> onto my paper. So I am not filling in an entire square. <clears throat> So I am now playing with the new shapes I have basically created with my letters. So great fun, I think. See, when I'm in meetings, I often just randomly write out the alphabet. So here is my excuse to actually really go for it and create art in doing so. There we are. And so on, and so on. So a bit more yellow there. I'm going to limit the amount of colours I'm using, um, just purely because it um, the, the whole work will hang together much better. So if you sort of create something with all the colours of the rainbow, um, it sometimes sort of turns into a bit of a mess and a bit of overload. Um, so we don't want to overload ourselves. There we are. I think I need a bit of yellow there. So you look at it, you take your distance and you think, okay, I like this. This is balanced. Or not. Bit of fun. There we are. It's going to rinse my brush. Use some tissue paper, which I recycled. I actually hang it onto my lamp to dry and then I just reuse it again. So there is no waste. Um, so it's going to change color. I'm just going to use this beautiful turquoise. And I'm just going to continue to fill in some newly created spaces. You can see I'm not exactly careful. Um, that's because I can. Okay. I'm just going to continue painting. I'm just going to press pause for a little bit so you don't have to sit here and watch me do the whole thing, so just one second. Right, hello. So, I have almost completed um, my piece of art. So I'm just going to add a few more tones. Da -da -da -da. A bit here, a bit there. recycled. I obviously don't do this with every bit of toilet paper I use because that would just be wrong. There we are. And here we have it. Oh no, not quite. There's one more. Et voilà. One. Et 
piece of work inspired by Paul Klee. So I'd like to see your works inspired by the work of Paul Klee. If you um, can look some of the information up, um, it's uh, Paul Klee lettering um, or alphabet, um, but it's based on his 1918 painting um, and it's got a funny title which I have forgotten. Let me see my notes. Du, 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 du. Just sing a song. Once emerged by the uh, from the grey of night. Hence why in the actual original work, which I can't show you because my printer isn't working, um, you have the top half and the second half, something along these lines, and within in the middle of it, there is a grey band, and that's just to just to you know reflect the grey of night. Um, enjoy, enjoy trying to create something. Um, I feel you don't have to stick to squares. Um, you could actually uh, maybe do something circular. So just making it up here. Here we are. We could then have a larger circle around here all the way. And then perhaps you could kind of go in this way and then do your letters. So you kind of have a perspective that's created. Or you could make it real fun and have some smaller um, spaces in between and then have the letters perhaps um, in a different position, in a different angle, in a different direction. Um, so there's so much you can do. So I look forward to seeing your creations and in our next lesson, I'll see what I have come up with. Enjoy, have fun, um, and I'd like to see the results, please, um, as soon as possible so we can share them with each other onto our uh, Facebook page, WhatsApp, and God knows what else we have uh, available. Uh, technology, technology. Bye!